History Taking of Epilepsy Epilepsy is a group of disorders, with altered cerebral function, resulting in excessive, and hypersynchronous electrical discharge, from the neurons. Each episode of neurological dysfunction is called a seizure. Acute onset seizures are usually provoked by a trigger prior to each episode. Patients with unprovoked seizures usually suffer from chronic seizures persisting since childhood. Such patients must be asked for a family history of the disease. Most people with epilepsy are diagnosed after a major seizure, but often have had preceding minor events. Multiple seizure episodes are seen in myoclonic jerks, absent seizures, simple or even complex partial seizures to have been epileptic events. The age of onset provides an important clue towards the diagnosis. Seizures in the neonatal period result from cerebral malformations such as lysencephaly, metabolic abnormalities such as hypoglycemia and hypocalcemia or hereditary metabolic disease. Seizures in early infancy result from febrile seizures and enzyme disorders such as Kravis disease and Tay-Sachs disease. The progressive myoclonic epilepsies associated onset in adolescence include unverich lundborg disease, Laforest disease, and other familial forms of juvenile myoclonic epilepsy. A new onset seizure in young adults must raise suspicion of head trauma or brain tumors. Older adults, above the age of 35 years, rarely develop primary seizures unless caused due to brain tumors and metabolic abnormalities. Seizures are broadly classified as focal or generalized. While taking history, the following features are observed in each category. Generalized seizures are categorized as absent seizures and tonic-clonic seizures. Absent seizures present as rapid blinking, or a few seconds of staring into space, teachers often complain of inattention in children with absent seizures. Tonic-clonic seizures, present as rapid contractions of the limbs, muscle jerks or spasms, fall on the ground and loss of consciousness. Focal seizures or partial seizures affect only certain parts of the brain. They are categorized as simple and complex partial seizures. Simple partial seizures cause twitching or a change in sensation, such as a strange taste or smell. Complex partial seizures make a person with epilepsy confused or dazed. The person will be unable to respond to questions or direction for up to a few minutes. Factors that precipitate sudden onset seizures include sleep deprivation, exertion, fever, head injury, drugs, alcohol, bright light and loud noise to name a few. Although most episodes of seizures will end spontaneously, some relieving factors observed by the patient may be sleep and rest. Often seizure episodes are associated with some characteristic features that can help in diagnosing the cause or type of seizure. Some of these symptoms are fever, headache, photophobia, and neck stiffness pointing towards infective causes such as meningitis, blurring of vision, hearing loss, sensory disturbances, sleep disturbances, may indicate a growth causing neurological compression. Other symptoms include muscle weakness, difficulty in swallowing, numbness, dizziness preceding the episode, visual disturbances, and auditory hallucinations, sweating, and salivation. A seizure may often be confused with syncope. An episode of syncope is usually triggered by intense emotions, illness, or pain. It is associated with prodromal features, such as fainting, nausea, tinnitus, and blurry vision. An episode may last about 60 seconds, convulsions, if present, are in the form of brief myoclonic jerks, and the patient recovers quickly. A seizure episode, on the other hand, usually does not have a trigger. If present, it is due to sleep deprivation, or alcohol withdrawal. Prodromal symptoms may or may not be present. A typical episode lasts about 1 to 2 minutes. Convulsions are mostly in the form of tonic-clonic contractions, tongue bite is common, and recovery takes longer, up to 30 minutes. To get more such high-yield medical content, don't forget to subscribe.
Basidiumed. The easiest and fastest way to take advanced clinical history.